use the stamp editor to create or modify stamps that can be applied using Bluebeam PDF Review or the plugin integrations into the various uh, programs. The stamp editor is a standalone program that can be started from the Windows Start Program Files Bluebeam software folder. And once launched, it appears as uh, shown on the screen here. Now you can open up a existing stamp and it will appear in the, uh, the, the main window. I'm using the, the mouse controls to zoom by moving the scroll wheel or the holding the left mouse button down to pan. You'll see this stamp. This is the uh, proprietary do not distribute stamp that we uh, have as part of the standard review. Now shown in the bottom is on the left a, uh, a preview and then a list of elements. And as I select each element, as I highlight it in the list here, you'll see it selected in the uh, in the top here. Now I can, once selected, I can move each one of these elements. I can rotate them. So I can uh, adjust any elements that exist there already. As well as I can add additional uh, elements to this stamp. So as an example, you know, say I wanted to give this a uh, a box just on this uh, this particular part of the the uh, the stamp. I've drawn that out, and now my properties I can change a line width, a line color, fill color, those sorts of things. So let me give this a green fill here. I'm going to adjust my opacity down so it stands out. So as I've added that information. Uh, as I added that element, you see the preview show up there as well as it's uh, here in my workspace. I can adjust that and just like before I can rotate that. So I can uh, com add, add these elements uh, to, the, uh, to the stamp. I can also uh, add curved annotations uh, as well as text, uh, polylines, rectangles and circles, uh, as well as images. So when I select the image, I can choose any sort of uh, of an image here. Let me go over to where we have a couple of example images, and uh, I'll just pick one of these here. So it can can define a rectangle, and now that can be on the stamp. Now each one of these uh, elements, I can uh, adjust the positioning. So here I right clicked and sent that to the the back of the stamp, so these elements that are above it uh, appear rendered above it on the uh, the stamp there. Uh, one other thing I can do is I can define a gradient. Let me go take this, uh, actually let's go create a brand new stamp so that this is really clear. I'm going to go to File, New. We won't save the changes here. And when I do this, I, uh, I get the option to select a new, uh, uh, the uh, properties about this. So uh, we'll call this new stamp and we'll keep the width and height at 300 and 100 and that's in pixels here. I can define that in specific inches or uh, centimeters however I want that to uh, appear. Okay, so I've got this defined. Now I said I wanted to go add a gradient so let me go define a rectangle here and I'm going to select gradient now. Now when I do this, uh, I can choose uh, the start and end color. So let me go pick, uh, let's go pick orange here and uh, a blue. And by doing this now, I can, I can zoom in or out using these, uh, using this, and I can adjust by pulling these edges here, let me go make this a little larger so it's, can, you can clearly see what's being done. Go zoom in a little bit and pan over here. Now, as I pick how far off that edge control is off the stamp, it adjusts how deep of a tone that appears in the gradient. So I can adjust a, you know, I'll keep that there horizontal so it's really clear as to what's happening. So the further across I pull, this is completely blue, and then as I pull this over across and over away, then that gradient gets a little shallower, if you will. I can do it from this side also. So it gives me a really 
uh, interesting way to control how that uh, gradient will appear on the stamp. And then now that I've set that gradient, I can you know, resize that, uh, appear that on the, uh, the drawing there. And then I can go about adding whatever other elements I want here. I'm going to go add my text box here. Actually, let me go drag. Select that. Please review. Okay. And uh, now that I... Let me go save this. And uh, new... We'll say review new. What's nice when I do this, okay, so by default, this is going to go to the default stamps location. So now that that's been saved, let me go in and uh, go into my stamp editor here in uh, the stamp tool in review. And there's that review new. Can paste that right into the, uh, the, the drawing that I'm working on here.